Coming up, we have your September 2024 Las Vegas real estate market update. Hey everyone, I'm Steve. And I'm Kristen. We are the Thomas Group with Real Broker, your local Las Vegas and Henderson Realtors here today to bring you September 2024 Las Vegas real estate market update. Yep. <laughs> I'm still pregnant. <laughs> so yep, still Kristen's still pregnant. This oh, last, last time when we filmed our market update, I went into labor that night. So oh, praying that this does the trick. Okay, all right. Well, if you probably won't be seeing Kristen <laughs> next month. Yeah all going well and we'll have a surprise guest to host in the market update for you so so stay tuned for that in today's market update we're going to talk a little bit about the movie studios that are going to be coming into the las vegas area many of you may be familiar with it maybe you're not but there's two two big studios that have been planned and approved to get funding here there's some big corporation that's going to be coming and bringing in thousands and thousands of jobs that we'll talk about what else have we got that's it so yeah <laughs> but, but, but i mean those are all really important things you yeah, know yeah. so many of our clients are like curious about how las vegas is developing and we are really diversifying so can't wait to share all that with you guys yep let's get into it Let, let's start with the single family home statistics for last month the median sales price and the average actually saw a very small dip we were at four hundred seventy six thousand eight hundred and seventy five dollars which is always odd because normally the median is a re- nice round number. That's down 0.7% from the previous month. So relatively unchanged in the grand scheme of things. But we were still up 6.6% from the same time last year. Yep, st- still growing. Units sold, very similar as well. We were down 0.3%, which really means, I mean, relatively unchanged. And the sales were up 6.4% from the same time last year. It's looking good. Yep. New listings, there were 3,153 new listings, up 6.4% from the previous month. So we have been seeing new listings climb and climb and climb. That number is up even from, you know. What is it from last year? We're up 19.4% from last year. Okay, 20%. Year for new listings. Yeah, yeah. And look at this effect that it's having on inventory. Um, there are 5,268 units available for sale, up 30 13.7% from the previous month, and we're up 36% from last year. So we're really seeing inventory move up, which is good because we're seeing interest rates go down. And as interest rates go down, demand is going to start to increase. Yeah. Yeah. And I think still, you know, upward price pressure, Yeah, is, you know, is happening. And, you know, especially with all of these different you know, big corporations that are coming here, right? We mentioned it in one of our previous market updates. Like, we've got a population of about 2.6 million in Las Vegas, and we're, we're, we are estimated to be grow to around about 3 million. So with, you know, with Sony that have just, you know, been approved for a $1.8 billion movie studio, they say they're going to bring 10,000 jobs to the area. Wow, like ten thousand. Ten thousand, they said. Yeah. So wow. that that's that's you know it's huge, right? And then when you when you look at the the Warner Brothers studio as well, which a lot of people are. So I'm talking from myself. I didn't realize there was two separate projects coming here, two two movie studios. I thought there was just one, and it was going to be one big one. But there's right. there's two, and I think that's even more exciting. Yeah. Because the one with Warner Brothers, they're actually there's going to be on thirty two. What is it? Thirty two acres. Thirty four acres on UNLV's property, and that's the University of Las Vegas. So that one's going to be on UNLV. Oh, nice. That is what I need to set a town, then. So, yeah, yeah, you want a new side of town. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah, for, for, for everything, great. Yeah. But I think more excitingly, like, for students, you know, they're going to get to use quality gear, quality everything, right? From the education, from the studios. And I think this is, you know, putting more eyes on the Las Vegas area again, right? Like, where should I go study? Is it all, is it California now? Is it Atlanta, right? Where a lot of these other places are, or is it going to be, you know, here in, here in Nevada? So lots of really cool and exciting things. And Gene Haas, that owns the, the Formula One team and his, his corporation, Haas Organization, they're bringing their business, right? Just sat into, Hen- is it still Henderson? Yep. Yeah. So the very southernmost point of Henderson, that is right by Inspirata. Um, there's a lot of industrial space there, which is awesome. And they've been planning this for years. I mean, since 2020, I think things were starting to move, but it's just taken this 
all this time, but they're they're finally breaking ground and getting things moving. So that's really exciting. Yeah, really exciting. I mean, but like 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 we said, Las Vegas is as a whole is just really diversifying outside of the strip, which is so exciting for the city. Yeah, and growing. So although you know we're getting new listings, we get more people moving here. Yeah. So exactly. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be really interesting. You know for us as real estate professionals like following this so even in the last 10 years that we've been here selling real estate we've seen it change dramatically right and i can't wait for the next 10 i think it's there's a lot of really exciting things on the horizon yeah i agree going back to your point about like yeah the inventory is increasing but we still have a lot of demand um the number the thing that looks at that the best is our months of inventory and we are at 2.5 months of inventory so while the, that's increasing we're still in this market that heavily favors the seller and especially if you're looking in a popular area like Summerlin um we are still seeing multiple offers on desirable homes that's right in those places yeah. so don't be shocked by seeing that inventory has increased 35% year over year no cuz we just have yeah. nothing <laughs> yeah, yeah we have a little bit <laughs> yeah one that, one last thing I wanted to talk about was single family home sales. I forgot to mention was pending sales. So yeah, it's very important. Our pending sales month over month are actually down 8.7%. So we'll see closings. We're seeing a little bit of a softening right now, I would say in the last, in, in these two months here, mm-hmm. which does tend to happen around this time because people that were buying that maybe have families, they wanted to get in before the school year started. Um, it's, it is quite normal here. We're down 2.6% year over year, so that's not very significant. No, that's all. All right, should we talk about condos? Yeah. And townhomes? All right. The median sales price was $292,000. That's down 1.4% from the previous month. So oh, interesting. a little slight softening. And this is very interesting. It's only up 1.7% year over year. The median sales price? Yeah. Yeah, the it is really it is. It seems to get a lot of peaks and troughs. Right, the the, the high was two hundred and eighty five thousand for where we were at the peak of COVID. Mm. So we're over the peak of COVID with condo and townhomes. We're not quite there with single family. So yeah. you said two eighty five. Okay, uh, two eighty five and two ninety. We're at two ninety two. We're a little bit over. But yeah, no, it is interesting that we're only up basically two percent year over year. Yeah, that's that's not much to tolerate. Right? Yeah, keep your eye on it for sure. Why do you think that is? Like this time last year, because the interest rates are really high, condo and townhomes had a really fast, fast appreciation mm. because people were getting priced out of single family and they were moving to condo and townhome. So it spiked up this time last year. So I think that's the only reason. I think it's going to like catch back up again. It's back. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. And that's, that's, that's a good point. I think. Yeah, yeah. All right, sales for condo and townhomes are down 7.4% month over month, which is interesting, and down 10.5% year over year. So I would say it definitely looks like condo and townhome are just slowing down a touch, but pendings are up 9.4% month over month and up 8.8% year over year. So it was just like a slow month. Gotcha. So okay. Yeah, yeah. It looks like it's going to be picking back. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's easy to kind of get th- for... It's easy to get stuck in that moment and look at it just at a very narrow-minded yeah. focus. But then when we look at the overall big picture, it's like, okay. Because I was thinking, I wonder if that's because of all of this apartment buildings I'm seeing going up around town. Like there's a ton more apartments going up now than there used to be. Right. So I think people that, you know, it's because Las Vegas is a very transient city. People will tend to generally tend to rent first mm-hmm. before they buy. Yeah. Maybe that had an influence, but doesn't look like it has yeah yeah it seems like next month it'll be again yeah but we shall see all right new listings are up 8.6 percent month over month and up 24 percent year over year so again that's good that's going to be helping our inventory which we see the inventory is up 11 percent month over month whoa and up 68 percent year i saw the baby just kicked you in the oh. belly there chris <laughs> i'm with that good with actress <laughs> yeah up up 68 percent year over year but that that's why like last year we had like no condo and townhome inventory there was demand for it. people wanted to move and then that's why that the media sales price had jumped up so much last month i mean last year i'm sorry months of inventory we are at basically three months of inventory. So a little bit more than the single family market. So you said 3.2 on single family. 
No, 2.5. Oh, 2.5. Okay. All right. I don't know where I got that from. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I don't either. <laughs> Maybe I sell it. Who knows? So, yeah. So it's still it's still favoring the seller for sure. Right. A hundred percent. Yeah. Very good. That's all I have. I think we've think we've touched on everything. So one of our most to the point market updates. Hope yep. you guys enjoyed. <laughs> Well, Kristen, thank you for all of your amazing help in bringing us the, the market updates every month. We're going to miss you. I'm sure everyone's going to miss you out there. And I know everyone's going to be sending you the best wishes and stuff um, and to us, of course. But uh, yeah, on behalf of me, thank you so much for watching. If you need any help buying, selling, investing, relocating, whatever it might be here in town, we would love to help. We've got someone on our team that is an expert in every different field of real estate. So whether you're buying a first time home or a high rise or you're investing, you need a large lot, we've got someone that can help you. So you find out more of our information on our website, thethomasgrouplv.com. But for now, thank you so much for watching. See you again. Bye.